What is up YouTube, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions. And this video is going to be a li little different from what I usually post. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to fade in or fade out using GarageBand. So first things first, make sure GarageBand is installed on your computer. And we're going to be using an example file that I found online. Um, this, you can use any other file, of course, but I'm going to be using one called Cold um, Sober that I found on YouTube. So if we click play, if you click play, you can notice the sound starts off loud and, loud and what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video is how to make it fade in and fade out. So I'm going to be showing an example of both. This video was I'm actually made because the previous video that I found on another person's YouTube channel was outdated and in this new version um, it's things are a little bit different and some people in the comments said they found it confusing so I'm going to clear up on how to get to the automations and everything that we had in the previous update okay so let's go and head over to mix and now we can click show automation aha uh -huh, and we can see that the color has changed and we want to go to volume so you can see this little um, box underneath so underneath our um, volume adjusting our headset and I'll click on that arrow and now here you can see automation now we want volume so make sure volume has the tick next to it make sure you are not selected on pan echo or reverb or else your settings may be different so simply make sure it's on volume here we can click anywhere we want on the screen so I'm gonna click on it and if we click on that you can see the line there's a yellow line that popped up and this with this line we can control whether we want it to go fade in or fade out so I'm going to be first showing how to fade in so if we click play right now it's suddenly like it's like it just suddenly blasts your speaker and we want that to start off from kind of a um, very sh um, very soft note and then it gradually gets louder as it um, goes on. So we're going to click anywhere on the line. So I'm going to click on here. So we get um, another circle. And the first circle, we can drag it down here. And let's click play and let's see how it looks like or how it sounds like. So as you can clearly see, it didn't start off loud as it originally did. Gradually got louder each time. Now that is, so that's simply how you fade in. Now if you want to control the duration of the fading, so let's say you want it to fade in slower or fade in much faster. To do so, you can simply take the second circle and drag it either left or right. Now, if you want it to fade in really fast, so let's do, let me demonstrate and put that over here. Let's click play again. So that is if you want it to fade in really quickly. If I want it to fade in slowly, so let's go and put it over here. Now, the longer it, it gets, the longer it will take for it to get to the desired volume. So let's click play again. So as you clearly see, this time it took much, much longer as the volume went up. Okay, so that the same concept is when it goes on down. So let's say you want it, instead of fading in, you want it to fade out this time. So I'm going to drag it back to the original volume. So it was around here, I believe. It was around this level. So yeah, the, the higher your line is, the, the louder it gets and the lower it is, the lower it is. So let's start off with a loud sound because we want this to fade out instead of fade in. This time take your second circle and this time drag it to the bottom. So I'm going to drag it to the left because I want it to fade out much quicker. Let's click play and let's see how it goes. Alright and you can control the duration of the fade out. So let's do it like here. <coughs> Alright, and yeah, so that's how you fade out. It's very um, simple. It's basically the same thing as fading in. You just have to put it down instead of up. 
And um, yeah, this video helped you out. Hit like and hit subscribe. And if you have any more questions on what to do, simply comment down below. Feel free to do that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.